All right, so I had previously did a video on me and Nala's nighttime routine and getting prepared for bed. But one thing I didn't show is wash day routine. So what I decided to do is make a video on her hair washing routine and getting ready for bed. Baby Nala actually goes to bed a lot earlier than she used to. Hold on, let me turn off the sound machine. I couldn't really get her to go to bed before 11 o'clock. It used to be like 12 o'clock, maybe 10.30 on a good day. But now she can go to bed around 8, 8.30. I usually try to get her started on getting ready for bed, like taking her baths and stuff around 6.30 and hang out with David for a little bit because he gets home around 6, 6.30. And then at that point at the hangout, then we're gonna be heading towards bed. Right now it is about eight o'clock now. So I am pretty late on getting her ready for her baths and stuff like that. But because she took a long nap, I'm kind of gonna let her kind of relax a little bit longer than normal. So she's probably gonna go to bed around that 9.30 time frame. So we shall see how that goes, but I'm gonna go ahead and get her stuff going as far as her outfit and all that. So let me just go ahead and pick that out. Oh, she never worn this. She has never worn this, but this is zero to three. She's in zero to three right now. So just a plain little onesie. No need to be special. This is a newborn. Nala can fit some newborn sizes. I don't really know if she can fit this, but she has never worn it. So this would be the time to see if she can. I didn't explain this last time, but usually I kind of like to set up everything on the changing table, get her lotion ready, get her diaper out, which should be really close. Where is it? Oh, uh, put this out on the changer and this and her outfits, what else? Oh, her, her swaddle. Where's her swaddle at? Gotta get a towel. Can't forget that. Found it. Now it's time to take her little caddy to the bathroom. Mm, you see yourself? You see yourself? I see you. You see me? She's like, what is that? Let's go in. In the second arm. I know these onesies are made to actually go down, I guess, instead of over the head, but to me, that's just too much. I'll stick to the basics. You ready for a bath? I can't believe you ain't pee pee. You ain't pee pee at all, did you? You ain't pee pee at all. She trying to touch the camera, look. Trying to touch the camera? She's getting her motor skills together. What just happened? She got me. Oh, she got me. Oh, she got me. It's all good, it's all good. I love you anyway. All right, so we gonna have to be quick with this. I ain't got time to be doing voiceover. I ain't gonna act like it's because I ain't got time. It's just cause I really don't know how. Baby girl don't really care for baths as you can see. I don't know if she be trying to just splash or just don't like it. I know. All right, the body wash I'm using right now, it is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Baby Shampoo and body wash so I use this uh, just be careful this is kind of strong oh she peeing well at least you did it here yeah I used to give her a pinky but she doesn't really like pinky so I stopped giving it to her but in the beginning it was a must-have all right, so I actually lied. I could figure out how to do the voiceover. I was just being lazy at the time and didn't think I was gonna do this, but here I am. 
So for this part, we're going to only be hearing my voice while seeing a close up of baby Nala because let's face it, I'm not really that important since she was born. So in this next clip, I am going to be wetting her hair. I try to get it all drenched all over as much as possible or as much as she actually let me. I try my best not to get the water in her face because who likes water in their face? And that's the quickest way that she wanna get out if I let the water touch her face. I really try to get her hair nice and soaked so that her hair is easier to manage when I start to put the conditioner and the shampoo in it. Now it's time to put some of the shampoo in her hair. I'm going to try not to do this too much, but this is wash day one for her. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same um, body wash shampoo combo and rub it all the way in as much as possible. I'm going to get the back of her head, which is she is most sensitive about. So this is the comb that I use. This is something that comes in those little multi-packs of hair brush combo. I know when I am combing her hair, it probably looks like I'm being a little rough, but I'm actually not. She just don't really like her hair or anything around her face being touched. So I'm trying to distract her with me holding her hand and stuff like that. But she's just kind of a little bit dramatic like I am. As you can see, it's going gliding right through her hair. Now that I'm actually done doing that, I am going to go ahead and rinse the shampoo out of her hair. So next what I actually like to do is get some organic extra virgin olive oil and put that all over her hair. Uh, I actually seen this on another YouTuber's channel and put olive oil in her hair while the hair is wet. It seems like it keeps her hair moisturized a lot longer than if I didn't. For me, it's so satisfying to see when I am combing the olive oil in her hair. You see how it's starting to smooth over and some of the curls are starting to pop. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use this Shea Moisture Mango and Carrot Kids Extra Nourishing Conditioner. This is my actually first time using this. I was looking for a conditioner for kids and someone recommended that I get this. I really do actually like it and the smell of it is actually really nice. I probably should have pulled this frame out a little bit, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see the texture of her hair, how her hair is actually reacting to the product. Now we are finally at the last step where I am going to go ahead and rinse this out of her hair. I'm trying my best to show you guys a close up now that it's rinsed out. Uh, what the texture of her hair is, but my camera is being a hater, so this is the best I can do. Let's dry you off! Pat dry. Pat dry. Pat dry! Okay, so 
one of the things that I should put on is this. Now this, I don't know if you can really be using, but I always kind of use this on her. This is Cantu, and it's just jojoba oil and tree oil. And from my understanding, that's natural. Um, so if you decide to use this, use it at your own discretion, but I use it on her and she hasn't had any problems. I usually try to be generous with this because I noticed that her hair is like mine that gets extremely dry. I know this looks like a lot. So this is what it's pretty much looking like at the moment. Sorry about the lighting, but my soft boxes are acting up right now. But this is pretty much what her hair is looking like. I only do this maybe like every couple of days as far as like putting out all this like oil in her hair and then try to pick her up yeah baby and this is how I, when i get the back of her hair the most because she's always laying there so we want to get that moisture back there this is really the worst part not saying the worst but yeah actually the worst part because she has dry patches from laying down all the time so if you look, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know, you probably can't tell. But the back of her hair is really straight. This probably won't get better until she learns how to do that and want to sit, uh, sit up more often. So that's all I put into it. I used to put in um, this Cantu Care for Kids. Um, I guess this is a leave-in conditioner. But this makes her hair really, really flaky. Her hair is really similar to mine in the sense of hair products making your hair get really flaky and old. Like as soon as I put it in there, it starts to flake a tiny bit and then like a day later, she got all these like dandruff looking hair. But from here, I just put on her cap, which I need to go find. And the only cap that I see that really works right now for us is the one she came home in, and that's the hospital cap. So you can see it's kind of getting old, but that's what I use personally. And it's the only thing that stay on for the longest and keeps her hair warm. So that is my biggest thing. I just want her hair to stay warm. Oh, and I need to put on her Aquaphor on her face. And then we will be Gucci, girl. And that's kind of what that looks like. Trying to get this open. Yeah, girl. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Almost time to get a new one. I keep that one hand out. What that looks like on, don't worry. She actually has space to breathe. Plenty, actually. It's just tight right here. But trust me, every night she's been breaking out of this because I don't want to be too tight because she's kind of outgrowing it. Like it's not to the point to where she can't uh, put her feet out, but she definitely need a bigger size. Time to watch our little shows. What do you watch shows? Come on, turn this way. Turn this way. You can do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and get ready and go to bed. I'm gonna take a shower first and David's not here right now because he has a late night work schedule today. But baby Nala is fine. This is her on the monitor. So she is 
still sleeping right now. I really like this monitor thing. This is the um, Summer Infant 2.0 Plus. It does good, like as you can hear, it has um, sound on it. So that's what her room sounds like right now. You can make it go to sleep and you can still hear the sound. One thing I really like about this is that um, how many dot this is actually for the uh, battery. The battery is about to die. But depending on how loud it is, it has a volume thing. So you'll know if baby actually crying, it'll go high up. But it's actually about to die. And it actually has a little zoom on it. The only thing it doesn't have, it doesn't record. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be all for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pump, shower, and eat something before I go to bed. I know I shouldn't be eating something late, but when you take care of child, child comes first and you go last. So that is what it is. So I'm going to get to that. And I hope you enjoyed her little uh, vlog of me washing her hair. Oh, can't come right to your mama.